Hi guys, my name's Mike. I'm with Fellowship of Christian Farmers. We travel around to some of the farm shows and ag events and, and share a message of the gospel and tell people about what we're doing as far as a disaster relief and helping people. But if you're seeing this, it's because you've looked at a QR code or you've taken a picture of one. And we have a message to share with you today regarding these different colored beads on, on this bracelet. The gold represents heaven. The Bible tells us heaven is a place with no sorrow, no sadness, no pain or suffering, no dying or, or passing there. Uh, the Bible talks about it as a, a place of uh, uh, streets of gold, gates of pearl, foundations made of most precious stones, a very beautiful place and without the, the struggles of this world in that place for eternity. The dark represents our, our sin. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. That sin brings about a problem in, in life and that the Bible tells us that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, but by one man's sin, sin and death passed to all men. Adam, when he and, and Eve sinned in, gar in the Garden of Eden, that brought sin to all people. And as a result of that sin, death and separation from God. The red represents a sacrifice that Jesus did for us. Uh, John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now to believe is to, to put our trust or to, to have faith in. We, we trust in him that he has done everything necessary and based on who he is and what he's done, he's made a way for us to have a home in heaven. The Bible tells us that God became as a man, walked among us without sin, willingly died on the cross for me and for you and for all people, taking the sin of the world upon himself, was punished, hung on a cross, died, was placed in a grave and rose again on the third day. That's the message of the gospel. When we put our faith in him, when we die, our body goes to the grave, but our soul is separated and goes on to be with him in heaven for all eternity. The white represents a washing away of sin that happens when we, we go to him with true repentance. 1 John 1, 9 tells us if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. To be forgiven or is forgiven is to be be completely have that sin taken away from us to where it's not put on our account. To confess is from the Greek word that means to agree. So it's, no, it's more than just telling somebody that I've done something wrong, but it's agreeing with God regarding our sin. And the Bible tells us, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. We agree with God that we have the sin, ask him to forgive us of that sin, his promises will cleanse us of all sin and unrighteousness, preparing us for heaven, covering us with the righteousness of Jesus, and that why it represents that righteousness. The green represents new life. The Bible tells us if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, I make all things new. Promise a new life here and eternal life to come, all through faith in Jesus. This green also represents growth. Uh, God wants us to, to grow in our relationship more than just know him, but to, to know what it's like to have that closeness as a heavenly father and as, as being a, a co-heir with Jesus in, in the kingdom of heaven one day. We learn about him by, by reading our Bible, going to church, spending time and with other believers, and serving him and praying. So I want to encourage you to do that. Grow in your faith. Have a relationship. Call out to Jesus. Ask him to, to save your soul. Again, his promises he will, and we are justified by faith. He gives us that, that relationship and that eternal life as we put our faith in him. Guys, thank you all for watching, and I hope this is a, a move toward you having a closer relationship with the Lord and uh, maybe a, and even obtaining salvation through faith in him. Thank you.